Chainsaw Man episode six was a whole lot of fun. I just got finished watching it. There was a lot of memorable moments, funny stuff happened, action. You even got backstory. I was pretty amazed about how much they crammed into all one episode. And anyways, our crew here is stuck on the A floor and they were trying to figure out a way to get out of here. And one of the things is they're trying to figure out what the devil is. And I went right away in my mind into my anime memory bank of Endless 8 with Haruhi Suzumiya. If anybody's been through it, it felt like torture. You felt like you were in it for eternity. It was a long ride. But to the ones that actually watched it the whole way through, you know, we went through that struggle together. So be proud of yourself. I was putting my money on Haruhi. I knew it wouldn't be it, but I thought it'd be interesting to see. Anyways, they confirmed that they were stuck here on the A floor. Himeno also did that too. She went downstairs, ended up above them, but still on the A floor. And we could see Kobani is super freaked out. And with any sort of horror movie, anything like that, I, I've been talking about horror movies a lot lately, but horror movies, if you got someone freaking out this much within a couple minutes, you know you're going to be in for a huge problem with this person. And uh, we definitely have that situation in this episode. So the gang huddles up and Denji is enjoying the bed. I can confirm I would do the exact same thing. Because if you ever watched a survival show, anything like that, they'll tell you the first thing you start needing to do is sleep. You don't get enough sleep. You freak out. You can't think clearly. So... Uh, Denji's got the right idea, and over here, Kobani is still freaking out, even more so. And Power is definitely enjoying the sight that she is seeing here. Denji finally goes to sleep, and the rest of them do their own thing. So Aki is searching for a solution. He's patrolling the area. It's not going to work out. But we also have Arai now having a panic attack. You'd see him huddled up in his blanket, just enjoying that dark time and place and emotion to uh not to himself because over there on the other bed is Kobani who freaked out so much that she drank toilet bowl water out of all things she was drinking toilet bowl water and she got knocked out so what is power thinking of she's not thinking about freaking out she's not thinking about anything other than winning a Nobel Prize. So once she gets out of here, she's gonna win the Nobel Prize, become prime minister and share maximum human suffering. How is she going to do that? What every politician does to their people, you tax the crap out of them. So what we have is a 100% sales tax that she is going to levy on the people she will be subjugating. <laughs> so I thought that was great. I love that. That was very hilarious. Anyways, going back to Himeno now, she is smoking a cigarette and Denji noticed that was the same cigarettes that Aki would smoke. So she goes a little bit into the background about him and smoking. So at the end of the last episode, we know that she was talking about the partners that she lost and that Aki was her new partner. So in case you needed a reason to smoke, apparently it's good for socializing. Again, you don't want to smoke. That's not good for you. I've never tried, but I've heard a lot of people say to me, never start smoking and then pull out a cigarette and start smoking. But you shouldn't do that. But if you need to, maybe, maybe smoke on it and don't actually light it up. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. So she had a history of losing partners and in this memory, she got slapped by her partner's girlfriend that died. You know, the partner died, girlfriend went up, slapped her because you know what? She can't slap the devil, she'll die. So she'll go and slap the partner. Aki, as her partner, does the right thing. He retaliates. And the way he does that is by putting gum on the girlfriend's clothes, which is pretty amazing that, you know, you think about this, the girl's walking away, he runs up to her without her knowing, puts gum on her clothes. That was the whole idea, so that she would be walking around town with gum on her clothes. I know for me, the thing I hate the most about gum is getting it on the shoe. It is the worst thing ever to try to get that off. I almost want to just throw the shoes away, but again, being budget conscious, you don't do that. You get the gum off your shoes. Sometimes it's really in there. Uh, but anyways, he thought that was the best way to retaliate. And, you know, Jimeno thought that was very hilarious and takes him out for dinner. So she gave us a little bit of info that, you know what, devils fear devil hunters who are crazy. 
So she is saying he's probably going to live for a while. Aki's going to live for a while, but we also have Denji and we also have Power, and they both aren't the most sane people. Uh, the other thing we learn about Aki is he can't handle peer pressure as he did eventually take that cigarette. He said it was going to be his first and his last, but we know that is not true. He is, let's say, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd say addicted, but he does smoke cigarettes as he came back from patrolling the area trying to figure out how to stop this devil. And he wanted one of those cigarettes. Unfortunately, Jimeno was on her last one, but she did offer to give her last cigarette to him that she was already smoking. And I'm like, Jimeno, what a lady. Look at that. These are the ladies I love. I mean, I, I could go for a lady like that. One eye, two eyes, don't matter. I mean, that's that's pretty sexy. So we got, I think that's my, my girl of the, the show right there, Jimeno. I'm a Jimeno lover. I know people are all about, uh, power or makima I'm, I'm going with himeno so far that's my lady so anyways denji who really wanted the kiss for killing the devil uh thought it was no fair because it's an indirect kiss so uh basically the devil power killed earlier kept on growing and what we find out over time is uh this devil grows because of fear so this devil came out and basically he tried to make a deal uh with all the team and they were saying Basically, if you give me Denji, I will let you go. And obviously, there's one person, the very freaking out person that was going to be a problem, who, you know, immediately grabs a knife and is like, let's, let's give Denji up. You know, I got things to do. I have a life to live, so let's just do that. Aki actually goes and saves him. Does like a, a sweet kick into the air, and we got Himeno delivering a elbow to the stomach. So that was pretty awesome. So then uh, Kobani is out for the count, and uh, Jimeno's going to do some work. She used her ghost here, her ghost devil, to uh, inflict some damage to the actual Eternity Devil. So that's, that's who he is, the Eternity Devil, but it got bigger. Um, and they found out that they're actually in the stomach of the devil, so it's not like they're going to be able to get out of here. And my first thought was of like, all right, just whip out your chainsaw, let's do this. But I remember they were in there, he didn't have a, a lot to go with. He doesn't have a lot of power here to do it. Uh, but I was I was thinking, I'm like, why don't you just chainsaw your way out of here? Let's, let's just live up to the title of the show. But uh, that's that didn't happen just yet. So anyways, we have a Rai here who's like, let's take the deal and uh, power she's agreeing to that because you know what she wants to win the nobel prize it is hilarious because she's really gone with that whole nobel prize thing you know we got we got to win this nobel prize i got to subjugate the humans so that was pretty cool and then we got introduced to this sword uh basically aki said if we're out of options i'm going to use the sword and then we were told himeno was like you know what you're not going to use that so i was thinking that sword meant that he was going to die Right, like uh, him using that meant, you know, like he was going to die, but that was not the case. We find that in a little bit later what that actually means. So meanwhile, because they're trapped in this place, they have, I guess, toilet water, but they have a limited amount of food. And the food that they had left was eaten by power. I just love the scene. It was very hilarious. She was like, you know what? I didn't do it. It was Denji's fault. I love how she just tries to lie to the very end even though it is very apparent that, you know, she actually was the one who ate it all. And then we still have the problem here. <laughs> Kuvedi's still freaking out. Uh, she was trying to attack power. Then we had Arai try to step in and say, you know what, she's not the problem. And then she started calling him a spy. And then because of their freaking out, the fear, the amount of fear that was increasing made the devil grow even more so he starts chasing all of them and yet again this is where we find out he is the eternity devil he had like that whole eternity symbol going on there so uh, we finally get towards the end of the episode the last action scene somebody anybody killed denji you know throw him in the mouth down below and you know what aki was like i'm gonna use my sword screw it we're gonna use the sword i'm not letting denji die because i need him to defeat the gun devil. I need him. So uh, Jimeno didn't want him to use that because 
Uh, we find out if he uses said sword, it takes a bunch of years off his life. And she wants him to live a long, happy life. That's uh, a very good partner. That's very altruistic or, um, I don't know, maybe she just wants to keep her partner around a, a while so that she's not alone and have to deal with another partner. But anyways, uh, she does that. She grabs him. So Cobaini, still over there with said knife, lunges, lunges at Denji. And we end up with Aki saving Denji's life. He gets stabbed in the side. And then he was saying how, why he did it, right? You know, he needs him. He deserves to be stabbed, but at the same time, he needs them to help kill the gun devil. And Power over here is going to try to assist to help Aki not from dying from his stab wound. Oh my god, that hurt. That was in the ribs? I can't imagine getting stabbed in the ribs. Ugh. Anyways, so even Himeno at this point, cool, calm, collected Himeno is starting to cry. Doesn't know what to do because uh, she's seeing the partner that she wanted to save bleeding all over the ground. And this is when our hero of the story decides, you know what, I'm just going to jump in there. We're going to pull out some chainsaws and let, let the fate decide what's actually going to happen. So that's what he wants. But at the same time, he gets out of there. He wants that kiss. So he got some boo grabs earlier. Now he wants to, he wants that kiss. So he's moving up in the world in the terms of, I guess, bases. Yeah, right. We're going, we're going around in bases here. So that's what he's going to do. Uh, it's he was saying how you know what he never thought Aki would do that for him. I mean, he Aki did two things, right? He kicked that knife away in the beginning. And then also he took a stabbing for him. So he definitely, Denji definitely owes him for that. It's like, oh, it's it's a budding bro relationship is what we have here. That's that's the true story. And then uh, he said nobody asked him to do that. But, you know, he he appreciates. We all know when deep inside Denji, he, he agrees somewhere. So he's jumping down into the very pits of the mouth of the devil did he say he was in the stomach i'm like i'm thinking about this now i'm thinking about this now he's saying you're in the stomach of the devil but then he has mouse inside of the stomach maybe it's kind of like a cow maybe he has multiple stomachs or maybe i misunderstood that but no matter what no matter what in the end it was a very fun episode i really enjoyed it hopefully you did as well we'll see what happens in there i mean i would imagine on next episode, you're going to see the team up above going like, what's going on? Oh, no, he's been eaten. Or, you know, let us out because, you know, do they have to agree on the contract? Like, say, they have to say yes. Because, in a way, he landed in there somehow. I wonder if he just, like, portals them out or something. But uh, he will imagine, I imagine right there, Denji's going to be in there. He's going to sum up some sort of resolve and start chainsaw and things away because there's no way this ends <laughs> the show ends on episode seven with him dying inside of there I, I can't imagine that so uh i look forward to the next episode uh let me know what you thought about it as always have fun be having not spent anything outside your budget have a good one